Generally, insurance policies providing for the payment of specified benefits while the insured is disabled contain a provision requiring the insured to be under a doctor's care. But what does under a doctor's care mean? And does the insured have to do everything the doctor suggests? We explore these questions in Heller v. Equitable Life Assurance Society. Dr. Stanley Heller was a doctor who specialized in invasive cardiology. In early 1983, Heller obtained professional disability insurance coverage from Equitable Life Assurance Society. Under that policy, if Heller became totally disabled, he would receive monthly payments from Equitable. The policy defined total disability as the complete inability to engage in regular occupation due to injury or illness, provided, however, the insured is under a doctor's regular care and attendance. In late 1983, Heller developed carpal tunnel syndrome, a painful and crippling condition in his hand and wrist. By March 1984, Heller couldn't practice invasive cardiology. Heller applied for benefits under his policy with Equitable. Equitable made monthly payments until May of 1985. Equitable stopped payment after Heller refused to undergo corrective surgery. Heller sued Equitable, seeking a declaratory judgment that Equitable breached the insurance contract. Equitable argued that because Heller refused corrective surgery, he was no longer under a doctor's care and therefore wasn't totally disabled under the policy. The district court disagreed and determined that Heller wasn't required to submit to elective surgery under the policy. Accordingly, the district court granted Heller's motion for declaratory judgment. Equitable appealed to the Seventh Circuit. 